Okay, welcome to another video, Starman Astro. Bit of a rush on at the moment. I'm actually walking out onto the beach here in Lytham, St. Anne's. This is St. Anne's Beach, there's the pier there. St. Anne's Pier. And there's the jetty over there, which used to, where the steamers used to come. Really vast beach this. And I want to walk out as far as the jetty, or a bit further than the jetty, because what I want to do in this video is see if I can catch a full moon rise. I'm not sure if it's going to happen because most of the time when I try to catch a moon rise we're often clouded out by um, low cloud that you get on the horizon and sometimes it's hard to tell if there's any cloud on the horizon so it looks clear but it looks clear tonight I'm looking over towards this direction over here which is where the moon is going to come up over there it looks clear at the moment and it's very promising. We've probably got about 20 minutes until moonrise. All I've got to do is walk out, sort of beyond that jetty over there. I know how far to go, roughly, because I've checked it using a program called, or an app called the Photographer's Ephemeris, uh, which I'm just showing you on the screen now. I've used that to get the angles for the for the moonrise and where I need to be on the beach to capture it. Now I could be anywhere on the beach really but what I want to do is I want to capture it over some buildings, some specific buildings actually. I want to capture it over the beach hut. There's a row of beach huts uh, the other side of the pier and I want to see if I can catch the moon rising over the beach ones because that would be really nice and I'm going to be using a uh, a telescope to take the picture because I'm actually quite a long way away the idea is to try and take a, a long telephoto shot using a telescope and try to make the moon look really big as opposed to the uh, the beach ones well that's the idea anyway we'll just have to see what happens but anyway, now I'm just coming into a bit of wet now. I've got to keep going, got to keep walking. I'm not far enough out yet. I think I can see the beach huts. Can I see the beach huts? But according to the app, I'm not far enough out yet. So I've got to go out a bit further. I mean, it looks promising. And it'll over there, that direction, it does look clear to me. So, I'm actually quite hopeful of this. The sunset didn't quite turn out. Um, and I was going to go and do a sunset. I know, what was I thinking? And then they've got the full moon rise. I've got to have a go at the full moon rise. If there's a chance of capturing it over some nice buildings like the, the beach huts, I've got to, got to have a go. I'm nearly there, roughly there. I mean, I'm not too far off now. If you have a look at the jetty, we're almost sort of level with the jetty now. We're about as far out as what the jetty is and that's roughly, I think that's roughly where I need to be now. Um, so I need to just set my tripod up here and the telescope and point it over there and basically wait for the moon to come up and see if, if I'm right. If I'm not right then I've got plenty of room to move around. I just need to move around where I am here really. They're bringing a big lifeboat in behind me. Lifeboat. I don't know if you can see it. So, yeah, I'm roughly here now where I need to be. Uh, somewhere around here. I now am hoping that the full moon is going to rise somewhere over there. That's the idea. So I'm just going to set up now. And once I've set up, I can show you how I'm going to go about capturing this moonrise, hopefully. Right, okay, so I'm actually not in a bad place at the moment. I'm, I'm roughly where I think I need to be to get this shot of the beach huts and the moonrise, which is going to be coming up just over there. Now, there is a bit of a problem. Isn't there always something? You know that lifeboat that I showed you before that was being dragged across the beach back to the base? Well, that's actually slap bang right 
in my shop now. If I show you the back of my camera, there's a lifeboat right in front of the beach huts. The beach huts are here behind and I've got this big lifeboat in the way now. So I'm just hoping that they move that lifeboat unless if I move see I'm not quite sure if the moon's going to come up to the left it's going to come up somewhere over there I'm not dead sure at this moment I'll have to have a look as soon as it starts to rise then I need to get into position I want to get it right over the top of those beach huts also the lights falling quite a bit now as well so that's a slight problem in that uh, it's going to be getting quite dark uh, so I hope it hurries up um, because I want to be able to see the beach huts on the photograph. I don't want them to be silhouettes, you see. It's supposed to rise within about uh, just a few minutes, so I'll know. Um, but that boat hasn't moved now for about, it's been parked there for about 10 minutes. So if that boat's going to be there, I'm going to have a picture of a lifeboat, beach huts and a full moon, hopefully. Uh, I'd rather not have the lifeboat. But anyway, um, We'll, we'll see how it goes. Good news, the lifeboat's uh, it's moved back and it's not in the way of the beach huts now. So I've now got a clear shot. So it's just a case of seeing how much that I need to move. Do I need to move that way or do I need to move further out? I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, but anyway, at least the lifeboat's moved out of the way and now I've got a clear shot. In fact, if you look at the back of the camera, so I've got the beach huts there and I've got uh, the reflections of the lights in the in the wet sand here. So if the moon comes up there now that's going to be quite a nice shot. See if I can get this shot of the full moon over the beach huts. So let's see if I'm lucky. Okay so the moon's now supposed to be up above the horizon but I can't see anything yet but I'm not too worried because the time that I'm supposed to be capturing it really is probably about 10 minutes after it rises because I want it to get up quite a bit first you see I'm probably looking for it to be maybe one degree above the horizon something like that I think I might not see anything yet but anyway uh, I'm just going to show you what I'm using for this shot anyway so there's my tripod I use this quite a lot for long range shots that's a TS Optics uh, quadruplet refractor and uh, got a DM50 on there. I just took a shot before of the, uh, the test shot. Didn't look too bad actually. Nice reflections uh, on the beach huts. Just to check the focus. So I have to focus manually with uh, this telescope. It's a manual focus telescope. So there's a focuser on this side, there's a focusing dial there. And on the other side, there's another focusing dial, but this one has a, a finer, the silver one here is a fine tune, uh, to fine tune the focus. So, so that's what I'm using. Now, just to wait and see if the moon's gonna show up. Yes, yes, yes. Brilliant moonrise. Oh, it, you can't see it. I don't know if you can see it on here, but look at this. Oh, if I could. Come on, get focus. Can you see that? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. I've done it. Oh, this looks brilliant. This looks absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to take some pictures while I'm there. Uh... Oh. I don't know if you can see this on here, but uh, I mean, if I could show you the back of my camera now, it probably looks too bright, that. Oh, wow. Look at that moon. That's beautiful. I've got it. I've got it. What I'm going to have to do is just keep shooting. I'm just going to keep shooting. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using mirror lock. This looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely amazing, this is. Oh, look at that moon. That's absolutely incredible. This is amazing. Oh, I'm just going to take so many pictures just in case some of them may be a little bit blurry, possibly. There's not much wind, but um, I'm just going to take quite a few pictures just to see if I can 
you know, just while it's looking really good at the moment, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dial the exposure down a little bit. Yeah, I've cracked it. I knew, I had a funny feeling, I knew it was going to be clear, you know. But you just don't know. You know, you can never be that sure with a moonrise. Um, you just never know. But I think I've hit the jackpot. Oh, wow, how good was that? How good was that? I mean, I'm going to try and point you in the direction of the moon now. Look at that. Look at the moon and the reflection as well. It's right over the beach hooks now. The problem is, is that I can't really take any more pictures now using the telescope because I'm zoomed in a little bit too far. I've got my pictures. How good was that? Yeah, I'm just going to point out the settings I've got for this uh, particular shot as well. Um, the, the shutter speed I was using was fairly slow. I was down to about one-fifth, one-eighth of a second, something like that, when it first started coming up. When it gets so high up where it is now, it's maybe getting towards two degrees up now, it does lift itself out of the murk quite a bit. So you find yourself having to dial the exposures. Um, the moon, what happens is the moon comes out of the murk a little bit and then you find it haven't blowing out then but it's got a nice orange tint to it tonight so that means that the atmosphere down there is quite thick so that's allowing me to expose for the the beach huts in the foreground and not blow out the moon and that was the idea of the shot i didn't want a really bright moon and dark foreground and that's what can happen when you're trying to take a picture of the moon you can sometimes have the moon too bright and too overpowering that you find that the foreground that you've chosen for it comes out too dark um, yeah so the settings uh, yeah roughly about one eighth of a second i was using iso 400 the telescope i'm using is 420 millimeters i've got it on a solid tripod and i was also using the mirror lock uh, the mirror up should i say the mirror up function so that lifts up the mirror on the um the camera so that when you take the picture only the shutter will trip and that way it reduces any vibrations because using a long focal length and you don't want any vibrations and what I did I took loads and loads of pictures I could see the moon just coming up I could just see this red dome and I thought that's the moon and I just started taking pictures and just kept moving I had to move a little bit from where I was originally I did have to move not very far though I had to move about maybe 50 feet uh, so it didn't take me too long to just move across. So anyway, um, yeah, success. So what I'll do now is I'll post uh, the pictures and I'll also post the, uh, the settings that I use to take this, uh, this moonrise over St Anne's Beach Hooks in Lancashire. Thanks for watching.